Well, joining us today here on Primetime Local News is artist Shawnee Kish. Now, Shawnee, uh, we're, we're part of that Connected Music series that we've highlighted a bit this week here. So I'm going to ask you the same thing I asked uh, Sasha. What does it mean to you to be a part of this Connected Music series? Super grateful. I mean, to be a part of sharing music. And I mean, it's such a weird time right now. And um, more opportunities are coming up like this, which I'm really grateful for because I miss performing. I miss, um, you know, and, and, I'm, and I have done more than a handful of live performances on stream. So it's so different performing to a camera. I, I couldn't, I was like all smiles during the performance, you'll see, because it was the first time I um, was back, sort of what felt like a, a live performance. And even though there, it was just the crew there and my guitar player, but it, it was the closest thing to performing live and it felt really good. And I was super grateful to be a part of it. I know with concert series, it's been different. You can't perform in person. You have to do it through just a camera or just very little people around you. So what was it like for you personally to do it, you know, not in front of an audience for your performance? You know, when I first started um, switching over to performing in front of like a camera, like solely either, whether it be um, like a digital sort of uh, like any kind of technology. So whether it be my phone or a cameraman, it was weird at first. Um, it took me a little bit to find a place that I was comfortable in. And honestly, it's performing is all about what's inside. And, and, and I just had to remember that, you know, like when, you, when I perform live in front of people, it's less about who's in front of me and more about a self-expression. So just going back to that route and you hear everybody say like during this time of COVID, like they're getting to know themselves in a deeper way and hopefully, you know, challenging the, themselves in a deeper way. And that was very much what I had to do, um, uh, you know, performing in front of technology. <laughs> Now, Shawnee, give us a little sense of who you are as an artist for those that aren't familiar with you. I use music as medicine. Music has very much been there for me when I was younger and now. Uh, but when I was younger, I really struggled uh, with things like depression. And I, I found it a difficult time in finding my place in the world. Um, you know, coming out as a two-spirit person, uh, what I struggled with. Um, I struggled with my home life. I struggled with sort of relating to peers. And so I, I really had a hard time finding what my place was in the world. And it was music that pulled me, gave me purpose. It gave me meaning. It gave me drive. It gave me um, intention. And I, uh, I'm so grateful for that. And I, and I use music. Um, it's such a powerful, powerful tool to inspire and, and, you know, provide strength to other people. I know that feeling. And so I use music very much in that way to hopefully give that back in the same way that music has done for me. I know that uh, I almost feel a responsibility uh, with my music to do that. In a series like this, you know, where it highlights South Asian, Black and Indigenous artists, and especially in a time where society has a lot of racism and discrimination, do you think it's important for to have this kind of concert series and for yourself to showcase who you are as an Indigenous performer? It's so powerful to be able to have a safe place um, to showcase who you are and what you represent and where you come from. I remember there was a time that I didn't feel safe to be Indigenous. I remember there was a time where I didn't feel safe to be too spirit. And that was even in the music industry when people had said to me, you know, don't be out and um, cover up who you are uh, in different words um, because it wasn't, it wasn't safe. It wasn't uh, uh, something that was supported by some individuals. And so to have this space um, and to be able to share who I am is extremely powerful because I hope that young people especially can look at this and say, you know, I'm okay to be who I am and I'm free to be who I am. And, um, you know, we're a community and to showcase through art who we are is such a beautiful and powerful thing. So I'm really grateful um, to, I performed at the coalition um, space and it was 
uh, great energy and I hope that one day I get to go back and perform there and to TD who supported uh, myself and other musicians, um, diverse musicians to be able to share their music at this time is really important and to CMI who I love very much. And lastly, Sean, is there anything that you want to share with us before we wrap up? I actually have some crazy amazing like I honestly have goosebumps right now because I, I just found out last week that this project is going to be coming up I can't say what it is right now which kind of sucks but I am so so excited what I can say is it's a well a well-known music group who um, I'm going to be collaborating with um, to provide a, a, a space for indigenous youth to be able to create um uh on a on a big platform so i'm really excited about that i'm also releasing new music in the new year I'm working really hard i'm going to fly to calgary at the end of the week um uh to work at bell studio a part of the searchlight 2020 music contest as part of the win um, i'm going to go to studio bell and record for a week so come up with new stuff and I'm just, honestly, I'm looking forward to the new year. I hope that everybody can stay safe, whatever happens next year and however the music industry looks. I'm, I'm um, grateful for the opportunities that have come my way and to be able to share art. Well, Shawnee, I really appreciate your time and thank you so much for joining us today. You bet, thank you so much.